Alrighty folks, here we go again. We're at pattern-collections.com looking for the pattern we're using today which is called Seth. And um, yeah, this is just kind of a simple one. Um, this week I'm going to do Seth, Shallots, and Sienna Warp. And the next week we're going to do Zopic, Y Waves, and Yindi. So, this one's a Step Out by Bob Cherno, 2018, beginning with parallel lines. Inside those parallel lines, we're going to do this kind of a shape. Um, I don't know if it's on purpose or not, but you'll notice that this isn't a nice smooth shape. It's sort of woggly. I don't know if that's just... Uh, the creator's hand or if it's supposed to have a little bit of a jiggle to it. I'm not sure. Uh, step three, we're going to put circles in there. I'm assuming that since the circles are nice and smooth and this jiggle is meant to be there. Uh, inside the circles we're going to put a dot in the middle and a little bunch of little dots all the way around. Kind of like a clock face. Oh! Ah! That could be the shape of one of those Seth Thomas clocks, isn't it? Is that why it's called Seth? I think so. So it's a little clock, little clock, little clock. And then if you do it in a row, you end up with that. And if you do it, uh, you can alternate your coloring in, all sorts of things you can do for it with it. I'm going to, uh, not sure what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do a little piece and um, see what we get. Let's see, turn on my light so you guys can see. And um, what color am I going to do? You know, I think I'm going to do it on a, a light colored piece of paper. You know, maybe I'll even do it on pink. I have a pink piece of paper. Let me do pink. I'm going to give myself a bit of a border. I could use this in a, you know, uh, make a, a, a string, um, which is basically a, a, a design choice of, of dividing your, your art space into a shape. I could do that and put it in one side and another. Perhaps I'll do that. You know, I don't do that very often anymore. So perhaps today I'm going to kind of divide this not quite in half, but sort of with a little bit of a curve like so. Oh, can you see that? You can kind of see that. And then I'm going to do this here. I'm going to make my... my lines going this way and then I'm going to make some lines going this way. So I'm going to do this pattern going two different directions on this page. And so I'm going to actually use a, fair, a fairly thick pen and make my border like so and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to actually make that a bold statement by giving it a, a space in between like that. And then I'm going to go back with my smaller pen and I'm going to make my lines going this way and you'll maybe notice that I'm not at all following where my pencil was because I decided to I had that not the spacing I wanted it so I created a different spacing you can do that it's your art but going this way I do like that a little bit bigger so I'm going to do that and make 
spacing slightly different on the going the two directions. So that's wider than that skinnier. Can you tell the difference there? I'm going to now erase any oddball bits of pencil that might be distracting me. Like so. I am deliberately making that kind of woggly shape. Um, I'm not being super precise with it. I'm just kind of not being um, smooth, if that makes sense. Just like so. Okay, and then in here, I'll make a nice round circle. Trying to figure out where partial circles would be. Like that. Okay, and then the next step on this is supposed to be to do those little dots around. I'm not sure I want them in this. This is too small. I'm going to leave it without. Maybe I'll just put the dot in the middle. Yeah, maybe a little bit bigger, just in the middle. Something like that. And now we're going to go this way. Okay, I'm going to do bigger ones here. I can do those dots in these ones, I think.
something like that. Oops, I missed one. Okay. I'm being kind of quiet today. That's okay. I suppose I should make sure I have 12 across, but I, you know, I'm not going to be that particular. Okay. That is that, and I'm going to color some of it, but I'm going to choose some interesting combinations of colors, I think. Let's use, let's use, um, what haven't I used lately? Let's use, let's use these dark ones. Use this one. I don't know what this one is, but it's what I'm going to use. This has a mushy brush tip. Just FYI, these are STA Aqua Natural brushes. They're a water based brush pen not an alcohol marker and they have a very mushy brush tip kind of difficult to get a precise coloring but that's okay it is what it is I'm not trying to be too fussy with it like that. Not what I would call accurate coloring by any means. Not exactly sure why I picked this kind of poopy brownish green color, mustardy color, because it doesn't really go with the pink paper that I picked, but you know what? Some days you make better art choices than others. Right? My watch keeps going off. Uh boy has texted me. What does the boy want? Pardon me, just one a moment. He wants to know what I want for lunch. That's nice of him to think of his mother for lunchtime, isn't it? 
do this. Why? I don't know. I've made them look kind of like eyeballs, which is not really the intent here, but kind of what I did. This one we will do just regular shading and see if shading, what does shading do? How does that look different than coloring in? I'm going to just choose a side. Gonna be on this side of the line. So on each of these, it's on this side of the line. Why? I don't know. It's just what I decided to do. Everybody asked me, you know, how do you make a decision on what to shade? I don't, I don't really. I just do it. It is what it is, and it's how it, 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 it ends up the way it ends up. I don't necessarily... Sometimes I have a thought, and, and I will tell you guys when I have a particular reason for doing what I'm doing but when I just have no idea I tell you I have no idea I just laid down some pencil decided to do it all on from my perspective the right side of each of these lines and that's it that's what I decided Just like that. So that's what it looks like if you just do uh, some shading. That's what it looks like if you do some coloring. I think I want to put some shading with my coloring, but I think maybe on this one I'm going to do just this line. Why not? I'm going to use my bigger blending stump to get a nice fat schmudge. Technical term. Schmudge. Something like that. Yeah. I'm good with that. Okay. So, what is this called? This was called Seth. Alrighty, I am done. Then I'm good to go for another day. I will see you guys tomorrow on shallots. And let's uh, experiment and see what happens, okay? You guys have a great day. I will see you later. And maybe my lunch will be here shortly. I'll see you soon. Bye.